They could. Hey, everybody. I don't see any names yet, but I'm going to start talking. Um, Tasha was nice enough to, to come in and help out with the uh, chat. Uh, I, I miss a lot of questions, and people get kind of annoyed, but I don't try to miss any questions. Hey, uh, GCS. Hey, um, what? Um, but that's something in my throat for my coffee. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, GCS. Hey, Sixth Anomaly. Hey, thanks for uh, tuning in to help out with the chat. First moderator here. I appreciate it. Uh, Feel Me Once is here. You know, Feel Me Once, I was on my way to Oregon and I was trying to meet him mm -hmm. and I missed uh, uh, I missed the, the schedule because I only had like about a 15 minute time period. But uh, maybe one day when I go that direction again. Hey, Tony. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Thanks for tuning in and help out. Really appreciate all the shares you do on um, on Facebook. I really, really do thank you. And people always say, you don't have to thank me. It's just something when I see it, I thank you. If I didn't thank you, I probably didn't see that that notification on Facebook. Uh, TD, how you doing? Miriam, John, Hecom. Uh, don't regret it, Phil. Um, I, I felt bad too. Um, I really do. People don't understand. I really do try. If I'm going that direction, I do try to meet people um, that are in people is kind of dumbed down word, but I really appreciate meeting you guys on uh, disposal team. Um, and uh, maybe, maybe another time, hopefully our, our paths might cross. Hey, Keith. Hey, Jojo. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Lee. Hey, Lee. Let's see if I miss. Okay, here we go. Caught up. I hope you're both well and looking after each other. I'm looking. There we go. We just looked after each other. Didn't even plan that out. London's in the house. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Mr. Charlie Bananas from London. Thanks, TD. Juliana's in the house. Oh, Thick and Chucky Show. How you doing, man? Hey, Corey. Oh, I thought you said the curtains match the oh, drapes. The cup. The cup. It kind of does, doesn't it? It's kind of poke. It's, <laughs> it hits, it's the same cylindrical. And uh, Corey's been seeing the pictures I sent him of the Thick and Chunky Show salsa that's that's always in the top of while. There was three of them this time. Hey, Elmer. Hey, Julianne. Um, Pat Wom Womble. You see, yeah, we're um, we're doing we did a quarantine microphone video last night. Should I show them that now or just put the video out later? Because uh, I have a Road Go mic. It's a wireless. It has two. It's two little squares about about yay big, and um, one of them goes onto the GoPro, plugs it in, and one goes to uh, uh, oh. Uh, once I, I'll get right with you, Felicia. Um, but I, um, I have another wireless mic, and I finally just plugged it in. It was so simple to use. Which I'm going to put the microphone on Tasha, and I'll talk right here, so her voice is about the same as mine. So that was it. Was really nice to do that. That video is coming out. It might be out of sync with the the, the vlog number one twelve, whatever. It'll be quarantine video, maybe. Uh, so it could just be something that's. It's going to be. Uh, I don't know if I should put that out in order because it shows where we're at and then the quarantine if i put it out now that'd be backwards kind of yeah. so just wait or either just put what day yeah i can start put what date in the description a lot of people don't read the descriptions but uh there's a, a vlog going to come out i went to a walmart uh in millington was that Mill yeah that was in millington where we got the crickets or or we got yeah. the paddle the That's paddles. Where you got the paddles. Yeah, we got the paddles for the boat in Millington. Well, we stopped off, and somebody saw me putting the car down, and they was like this. No, that was that was in sixty four. Sixty four. Oh, okay, that was sixty four. Yeah, that Felicia, was Wolf Chase. Yeah, Felicia here was uh, saw me put a card. I, I place cards everywhere wherever I go, and she looked like this, and then she goes, hey, and she was really really excited, mm -hmm. uh, and I felt bad when I went outside. I said I need to get my camera and um and videotape this. Well, she was helping a customer. And the customer kind of got annoyed, but she had let another employee uh, 
talk to the customer to help her out, but she's like, you ain't going to help me no more. She got a little, little irate, and I felt bad that I was played a part of that, but I wanted Felicia to be on camera. So um, I'll put that. It'll be another couple of weeks for that video to come out, but I try to put them out in order. I think it's vlog maybe 121 or something like that. Are you my girlfriend? Sarah just asked. Yeah. She used to be my manager for a while because she was my girlfriend, so I called her my manager. But, yes, this is my girlfriend. Let me see. Can I go back there? Okay. Oh, yep, she put 64 right there. Yes, super rude customer interrupted. Yeah, uh, she was older, and I think she was you was helping her out first, so she was, like, locked on you. But even though you... I won't say dished her off, but you gave her to somebody else to help out. She was like, hey, you ain't going to help me. But I really, I, I really do. Uh, I would like meeting all you guys. Tony's in the house. And a lot of other, man, a lot of folks just jumped in here. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hopefully this quarantine stuff isn't getting you going crazy. Um, the parks... The state parks, like 56 state parks in Tennessee, were closed, but the, the ones that are open, people were jam-packed in there. So uh, that was uh, that was weird to see, like, early in the morning, boat the boat docks. There was, like, 10 people already in the water, like, 7 in the morning. From, man from hostage to manager to girlfriend. No, I think it was manager... Girlfriend hostage or man for hostage girlfriend? I don't know. Manager was first, though. Yeah, manager was first. Oh, Lee, all the all parks are closed, too. Well, the state parks. Oh, she said that I didn't matter in the Walmart. That they was just trying to sell something. Corey didn't got a dog. Corey got a dog? Because Rona. <laughs> Needed some excitement in the house. Got a dog in the house, so I guess uh, it, it'll keep the kids busy. What kind of dog did you get? Hot dog? Oh, Lee, check and see if the federal uh, operated parks are open, because those are the only ones that are open here. The The state parks are closed, but the, yeah, the federal like lakes and stuff, they're not. Yep, so check that out. It's the difference between federal and uh, state. Uh, but thanks for tuning in, Ali, Nicola, uh, One-Legged Honda Mechanic. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to help out. We are okay. We just left Walmart yesterday, and it was real kind of spooky because more people have masks on than people eye eye eyeballing everybody. like, And um, to give them the six feet, six feet rule or whatever. That's your weenie. That's what kind of dog Corey get. Oh, yeah, like a chihuahua and a wiener dog. Okay. You can call it Chalupa. Yes. He, I'm going to tell you. Corey, Corey, it's, it's a slang word. I just found this out. A chili cheese burrito in Cahokia on the on the screen. Half Some of them said Chalupa because it was a slang word, like chili cheese burrito. They call it, no, a Chilito. Call it a Chilito because chili cheese burrito. They call it a Chilito in our town forever. And that's why I went to other ones. Hey, you got Chilito? Do you mean a chili cheese burrito? Well, they stopped calling it. A, they stopped selling them, I think, but they stopped calling it Chilito. Well, it's a slang word for a little hot dog. Little Peter. That's what it's a slang for. So do some Googling. <laughs> but it's called Chilito. So they stopped doing it. Maybe some people that's Spanish in here might tell me about that. Hey, thank you, Amber. I appreciate it. It's not my sister. That's a, a disposal team member. She loves watching us. I thank you. We'll be watching this on her channel shortly, hopefully. I'm, I'm going to edit a video, just a just short edit, just to show her um, a little bit. of. She got like a half a video. It's not a whole video, so I'm just going to do a uh, just edit it for her and let her see it. And then um, it's just it's just difficult for her to pick up the camera. She used to me picking up the camera and leaving out the house. She leaves out the house without the camera. Hey, Beyonce Elites. Thanks for tuning in to help out. It's been a while to see you. 
I was like, almost all the moderators are in here today. Oh, so now they're going to door to door. G GCS says they're going door to door, snatching people out the house. They didn't. He, they didn't say that, but I'm just taking it like that. They're going door to door, relocating family members who test positive. Nicola, how doors. is the how is stuff going over there as far as the virus? Is I don't think I've seen anything about y'all on the news or anything. Yeah, is it is it bad overseas or is it like the same as here? Hey, yeah. Zabo. Yeah, six six anomaly season wearing my Dallas Cowboy shirt. I sure ain't. Oh, my back is killing me, folks. I was doing some cleaning up yesterday and, and um trying to be thinking I'm He Man, yeah. All right, Zabo is dropping in for the 10 minute break. I hope this is a lovely 10 minute break for you. Dawn's in the house. Dawn said she had to use the restroom outdoors the other day. I didn't even say that you did the other day, but now I did since we talked about it. She's fish, fishing, I think. Oh. Unless she just likes <laughs> to go outdoors, like convertible. I mean, it's like convertible. <laughs> yeah, I had to get out the boat because I had to go. Oh, by the dumpster. Yeah, that was a little sign. I had. I, I couldn't pass that up. Oh, yeah, it's crazy in, in California. We were just watching uh, TMZ, and you know everything's true on TMZ. But they said the docks, the harbors were packed full of people. They had pictures, so it had to be true. Like, they're on the beach. Like, are you guys still on the beach just swimming with the sharks? Thomas, the government thinks I'm essential, too. And apparently, Nike thinks people are essential. Yeah, Nikes, are, they're got to be essential. You know, I don't know. I guess people want to wear nice shoes while they're in the house during corona. I don't yeah, know. that, that, that that's weirded understand. me out. Like, that weirded me out. Yeah, I didn't Nikes. understand that one. So, I guess they're doing, you when you're vlogging in the house and doing stuff, you still got to dress up. Yeah, because some of my friends have so, to. We got uh, a fancy backdrop. Some of my friends have to still go to the FedEx World Hub because, what are you doing? I'm fixing the light. The light was in there. Oh, because they have to physically um, do stuff to packages for FedEx. So everybody at FedEx didn't need to go home, especially like the people that have to physically touch boxes and unload planes and all that other stuff. Hello, music lady vlogger. Since you got the name and I like to shout people out, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, I took that upon myself because I, I try to, uh, people help me out and they still do um, with my YouTube channel and, and getting the, the word out. Uh, but if what, like you could text in here what type of music or whatever, and if they uh, click your, your icon, they can go to your channel if you have one. Our water is fine here as far as I know. If it isn't, they haven't told us. Water? Do you, yeah, you know what color your one, water is? Look what color my water is. Freaking brown. Tennessee water is brown. Like Texas, was it Tennessee, oh, Tennessee gold? Texas? Why your water See? smoking then? It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Thomas, uh, I guess that, that would be considered uh, an essential what, uh, worker. Since what does you Thomas to, do? He operates a water plant. A water plant? Okay. Yeah, that's who said that he's... Uh, we got rainwater. I'm through. He's walking walk dead. dead. <laughs> yep, water treatment. But there was a movie where everybody was getting sick because of the water. The flies and everything was in it. Like, remember that movie? Ooh. Everybody was getting sick because they was drinking water. I'm now. Uh, music lady vlogger said, kind of, yes. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Sketchy. Sounds sketchy. Just post music videos from different concerts. Okay. Well, that's something you like to do. Um, if people like concerts um, and different concerts can uh, tune into that, maybe you want to start something up now. Oh, Aaron Brockovich. What? I think you asked me what was that movie. I remember Aaron Brockovich where the that's soil and stuff was contaminated. That's a silly name for a movie. That's somebody's name. 
Is that the movie's name, Aaron yes. Brockovich? Yes. They found out that I don't the, think that it was a movie. I it was think. a real. It was based on a true oh, story. Oh well, this was just like a movie. Oh no, they found out that the it was some company there, and they was polluting the soil, and a lot of people in the town started getting cancer. And oh, that's the one that sued uh, Sarah uh, Dole, or what's that? Remember that movie that came out? That's just about a year ago. That's another movie. Remember? Uh, oh, Danny, was that the one, Danny Glover? <clears throat> it's like a five-letter word. It's a big chemical company. Oh, well, it's on the tip of my tongue. Really I don't know. It's like a five-letter movie. That, that It was the cows and everything. They're not a five-letter movie. A five-letter, the name of the company. DuPont. Oh. DuPont. Yeah, we got DuPont. <laughs> Two DuPonts here. No, Monsanto was in Cahokia, and everybody sued them, but everybody gets like a dollar fifty check because they told everybody. You took if you tell everybody and the grandkids and everybody and everybody sues them, you only get a certain amount of money. They're only a lot and this much money for everybody to pick off of. So it can be one person to get the whole thing, two people to get that much, four people to get that much, eight people to get that much. You get like a dollar fifty. They was waiting like twenty about 10, 20 years to get a dollar fifty. Like, oh, we should get more. Oh, Idiocracy is a good movie. Nineteen nineties or ninety-ish. Or eighty, or probably nineteen ninety-ish. I like that movie. I'm baiting here. I'm baiting. If you if you want to watch the movie, you know what he's talking about. PG and E was sued for a million. Lawyer got rich. Yeah, usually lawyers get lawyers more awesome than money. everybody. They That's why I was seeing like some people do their own independent. They don't want to be a part of the class action. They yeah. go and do their own. Well, that'd be the best bet. Yeah. Beverly Hills Cops 1 and 2 comes on tonight, everybody, if you want to watch that. But some people have to work. I'm going to be doing my editing in there. So I got to work too. Yep. She's going to be I in the next building, next office. Yeah. Set up in here. They finally sent us home after somebody tested positive. They yeah. panicked and was like, everybody go home. <laughs> So she gets to work from home now, starting today. Yeah. They let her bring her computer home the last day she worked, and then she was off for four days. Then we, we fished for two or three of those days, didn't we? Mm-hmm. But you got to watch the vlogs for the fishing. Jose called a snook. A On snook? A yellow feather. Oh, snook. On oh, a yellow feather. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations to you. Somebody said, you ever fish Grenada? That's people Grenada, I was telling you. Yeah, about. Pe people, um, I have sardis, and have I done Enid? I don't think I've done Enid, but I've been wanting to go to Grenada, to Grenada because I heard they have, like, giant brim. But I, this is like a class action lawsuit. If everybody knows about it, oh, they got bluegill the size of your head. Everybody's going to be there. So it's like, it's going to be fished out. We can a lot try of it, folks though. travel around the brim fish. They don't... That's, I mean, uh, if they bass fish. They don't. They, they don't, see some bluegill as big as that. They're not around around bass that. fishing. That's what most bass and crappie fish. I don't want bass. I don't like bass. I mean, I eat it, but I don't. I'm not prefer it. If that was like, if I could choose some something or something, I wouldn't choose bass. It's dry. It's flavor. Flavor. It doesn't have any flavor. It's like it's like a freaking. Uh, what's that stuff? Chinese like food. That little night. bitty stuff that that, that that tastes like nothing. Tofu. Yeah. It's like tofu of the sea. You liked it last night. Bass, that's what I just named it. Bass is tofu of the sea. They can't, they can't see this. <laughs> Bass. <laughs> I was say, how long did it have to be? <laughs> <laughs> Bass is tofu of the sea. What? How long what? He said he caught a snook, but it was too short. Oh. And I was asking, how long does it have to be? Probably 10 or 12, depends on... No, I think those fish have to be like 20 something. Really? I don't know. Well, if you beat it like if I'm thinking about that, the same beat it flat and it'll go it'll get longer there. And then you're gonna get charged by the inch of fine. Catfish is is the best. Catfish is the second to me. I like bluegill then catfish or brim. I like, I like is brim the technical word or bluegill? 
Because some I perks, forget which is the name and then the yeah. I think that is related. Yeah, it's all the same. Crappy is the best. Well, yes, Don. Crappy would be the best if you're well, outside like, using the restroom all the time. I like bluegill, then crappie, and then catfish, I think. But, ooh, I like salmon, too, and trout. I like a lot of fish. But I think I like brim the best. I'd be scared to catch a catfish with my hands. I would do it. I'm sure you would. I've never ice fished. Croupy? I would be nervous the whole time. Croppy. No, she said croupy, how it's pronounced. That's in Dallas. That's a Dallas thing, I think. That's croppy, boy. Where do you see that at? Croup E. Croupi. You just like being different. No, she said she dog just did it. I did not croup. See, now she fixed it. There oh, you go. there we go. I, I thought she was being serious. <clears throat> Don, forgive him. Crop you know eye. he's a little crazy. Crop eye. I said it wrong again anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Anna, you can have bluegill like the yep. size of your hand. Like so that. they're not, yeah, they're not all small. So and if they're small, just cook them whole. Just chop the head off. Cut them. But I always cook them whole anyway. The fins, Cut the head off and clean them. The fins are like potato chips. Yeah. I eat with the bones too. If the bones are sm like small enough, I chew the whole thing. You won't even like ten bones of mine of fish should be like two bones of hers. But beach of cats were so big, filleted them. My grandfather filleted little girl. I mean, I've seen. I've just never. Except for that time that you had some in the freezer, I'd never seen bluegill fillet. I always, how I was always taught was to scale them and cut the head off and cook them whole. That's how I grew up eating. Thanks, Nicola. Ever eaten shark? I've had tried it before. I don't, I don't remember. I have. I've eaten uh, gator before. Gator and rabbits and. Have I had coon before? Oh, pot now? What? What you looking at me like that for? I don't know. We was talking about fish, and you jumped to alligators and crocodiles. It's in the and water. Bears. Oh my! Gators are in the water. Pork chop of the sea. I like pork oh. steaks. You know, guys, if you want to know a fun fact about me, barbecued pork steaks I rather have than a steak. A regular steak, barbecue pork steaks, not pork chops because they're dry. Yes, Katie, <clears> rabbit <throat> is the best. Smothered rabbit and rice. I look. No chickens taste like gators. Not those kind of rabbits, Nicola. The wild brown and or gray rabbits, not the white ones that's in the pet stores. T. Lee has good taste. He likes pork steaks. Yeah, pork steaks are. My mom used to. Um, I do indirect heat. So what, what my mom likes to burnt pork steaks. She likes the real burnt ones. So what she does is cook a little bit, and then she puts she stacks them on top of each other on the indirect heat on the side, and lets them sit there for like two hours after they're done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I have another another aunt that uh, a step aunt. She she cooks them, and then she puts them in the the broiler with smothered with barbecues, and they just fall apart like that too. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Nicole. <laughs> when you said rabbit, I already knew you was, you was thinking the little white rabbits. Hey, Patrick. Um, we're not really on like a lockdown to where you can't leave the house. I was always leaving the house because I had a letter from my job saying I was an essential employee. Um, we're still allowed to go to the stores. Um, to the banks, go wherever you want, just whatever's open. Um, you can go here to. in Tennessee, they deem hunting and fishing as an essential activity, so we can still do that. I guess as long as you're not grouped up in 
what is it, 10 people or ten more? Or, ten, yeah. yeah, you got to do groups of 10 or less. So you could just get it from 10 people instead of 20. I don't understand that part either. But uh, they're not really policing it. They're not saying, hey, because this is how a kid on the bike come back from Walmart. Kid riding his bike. Like, yeah, I think you could be outside as long as you just not grouped up. Yeah, but I'm supposed to drive anywhere. You're supposed to be like stay at home, not stay on the sidewalk down the road by grandma's house home. Mm -hmm. That's a long, I don't think that they said that. But they're, they're not going to, you can't police it with everybody's doing it, you know. <clears throat> but Ben said he's smoking a baby Bax today. Is it menthol or non menthol? <laughs> domestic blend? <clears throat> Excuse me. I know about domestic blends that camel cigarettes with no filter. My stepdad used to smoke those. So I didn't have any cigarettes I would smoke. And I said, did you get the picture of Lightning Trap that, that she emailed you? No, I didn't check my email today. Did you do it today or yesterday? Usually I stay on, on the comments, usually on YouTube. It's hard for me to decipher the comments on, on Facebook. It's it's weird how that works on the e emails. I do that once every couple of days. It's called Lightning Trout. It was so fast I didn't see it. Yeah, Katie, that's how it is here, I think. You can still go outside and exercise and do other outdoor activity, but just practice social distancing. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you guys that I was going live in the moderator room. Forgot. Okay. I'm looking at my email now. Yeah, Jose, that's what I was talking about. Like here... A lot of well, the state parks, like I said, are closed. But the boat ramps that are that are operated by like the federal government, like the um, what is it, the Army Corps engineers and all of those type uh, reservoirs and stuff like that, those are still open. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the email. Turkish food. I've never had Turkish food. I don't know about Brandon. Have you ever had Turkish food? Um, yeah. I mean, I really Somebody don't. Somebody just asked, "What do you think of Turkish food?" Um, I was Turkish or Persian. I think I had. I don't even what it. What? I ate a lot of different foods, and I really don't. I'm not. I don't know. It's just like me. Everything's messed together. Like it's just. I don't know. My taste buds are different. It's like it's not like really fine tuned to even. I know Persian foods is really like. Herbs, like a lot of herbs. You're welcome, Amber. Is Turkish food kind of like Indian food? Like it's a lot of rice and sauces and meats. Like I don't even, I have to look it up. I don't even know what it is. Hey, kitty cat. Yeah, I've ate carp before. It's just uh, a lot of bones in it. I mean, it's just uh, a downgrade from a catfish, I guess, a, a, a big downgrade. But a lot of people eat carp. I mean, a lot of people like prefer it for some reason. I don't think I've ever had carp either. No carp got a lot of little bones in it? No? Or is it the wrong fish? Yeah, I think somebody just said that. I think I did. I don't know. I just said it had a lot of bones in it. It's muddy, too, I think. I don't know. It's just, it's just, uh, but there's a lot of fish like when we was in Florida. What's some iodine type fish? That people, was the Toro. Yeah, the trout. Toro. It's the a Toro red, red eyeball, glossy, and people throwing them back. They threw 10 back before he said, we'll keep those. There was nothing wrong with them fish. They were just up, uppity. <clears throat> Maybe I got an email. I'm not sure. Nope. Just not. Anna said, I'm 66, so who knows where the email went? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. You must send some other Brandon. She's like, what is this lightning chart? Lightning what? Trout. Trout. So it was so fast, I didn't see it. <clears throat> I don't know, Anomaly. Well, I. Anomaly, I'm going to tell you what, when it comes down to it, when you have to eat stuff like that, I'm pretty sure 
like I was just talking about that cats and dogs and stuff. Once it gets so bad before you eat people, you probably want to eat a cat and a dog. And then after a while, once this is over, you're like hard as hell on Mick cats and Mick dogs. Like, it's going to be like, Hey, it's okay. It's okay to eat right now. <clears throat> I mean, people eat cows. They don't just go pie pasture and say, Ooh, I want to chomp on that right there. <laughs> hey, Laura. <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah. I'm going to unhide that one, Six. That, that ain't bad to say groundhog. <clears throat> and anomaly, I... You can't hide. I mean, I don't know why you're hiding all these names on here for some reason. I mean, yeah, I got to go back and unhide these. Uh, I don't think I'm trying to figure out what was said that was even. Yeah, I think you're you're you may be clicking the wrong name. You got to pause the screen if you're trying to hide somebody because because they're uh, the stuff that oh, I, he said his phone is in his pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it shows you're hiding everybody. Yeah, I was wondering. I went back up to see. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, he said his phone was in his pocket. Okay, so I, no, I'm. If you, I don't know if you can. I gotta, I gotta see if I can. Un, I'm trying to unhide all these messages that were hidden. <clears throat> I might have got them all. <clears throat> okay. That's okay, six. Yeah, it's okay. I, I I think I took care of it now. They don't know social distancing. Oh. Oh, yeah. That sucks, Jose. <laughs> like, well, that's crazy. They see you there standing there catching fish, so they want to stand right next to you. I thought that was like some kind of well, get you, some kind of. Uh, well, get you like six fishing poles that you're not using, and and, and put a put a, a belt around you and point them out so they can't even touch around you, or whipped around like a helicopter. Just start doing this. <laughs> That's crazy that they would come stand up next to you like that and fish. Yeah. Well, when you throw a pole in the water where there's. Where, where you, then somebody somebody throws it right by your bobber. Um, I just usually reel my stuff in and go somewhere else. Bye, Don. Good luck with the schoolwork. But I'm only saying that because I'm talking about her. So if it's somebody I don't know, I'm like, hey, why are you fishing right by my bobber? <laughs> but I she catches more of fish because I rather fish in another spot. Let her fish where she wants. So she she holds the motor. So it's like pencil whipping somebody in cards. You got the motor, so you know where you're going. So I just fish wherever. I'm like, I'll just drop it Why in here. here you just catch lies. fish, okay? Huh? Why are you here They probably see lies? it. They watch the videos. Yeah, they're gonna see. They're the gonna truth. see. Yep, they're gonna see you catching all them fish. All right, Don. Uh, talk to you later. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, uh, let me see. Yeah, sometimes my phone does that. It, it, it texts and texts people and everything. I try to I try to hold my phone, uh, like I said, like this against my skin because uh, sometimes it does that for some reason for the the, the uh, temperature. But I try to put it out like that. If I, I do like shirt pockets though, I don't have really, but well, I don't have any shirts anymore pockets. Cause it got a little crisp, a little burnt up. Laura Baker asks, how are y'all liking the walking dead? I've watched all the way to episode seven or eight, like season seven or eight. But, uh, I started watching it from day one with Tasha. Uh, we are, uh, we are on season four, episode five. That's what we are. Yep. It's nice so far. They just do a lot of stupid, stupid. stuff to where yeah. if we it's was, like, they don't learn from, 
past stuff. Say bullets, people. Say bu- yeah, like but they say it. They say it every now and then. Don't you yeah, don't use a bullet. Save bullets and but don't make like, noise, ooh, and then ooh, they turn around and do it. So ooh, sometimes they make one out there with it. ten people with swords right by me, but I'm shooting him. But like ten seconds earlier, don't waste your bullets. It's uh yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in there. So we'll be prepared if that happens. Ah, my back's killing me. After my back. You want me to go get you a pillow to put behind? Yeah. I could do that, but uh I'm gonna go get you. No, I'm good. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Mm, raise up again. Put another. <laughs> yeah, sit back. Yes, Polo, she just bought one. Brandon, does Tasha know how to use a gun? I hope so. She's going to be yeah. shooting all the walking deads when there's only one out there. And I got three swords. <clears throat> yeah, she got one at Bass Pro Shop when I went to go get my 45 bullets. Uh, I'm going to, I'm, I do have, uh, I think, I don't know. I have a couple, uh, about 100 rounds or 200 rounds of 9 millimeter bullets, but we need to buy some more because they, they, uh, Bass Pro is all out. And I get to use my Bass Pro points. I think he pulled the muscle six. Ash versus Evil Dead is way better. I never even, that's the next one we need to watch. That's silly. That's one of them. I don't know. It's not like regular serious? I think it's, no, it's like a comedy. comedy. like Like a spoof. Like a spoof on them. I think that's what it was. I want to watch a regular. I would like to. I like the survival part of Walking Dead, which half the time they're. Hey Ray. But it's happening, Ray. Yeah, I'm back. I had a week back. It happened about a week back. See what I did there. Army of Darkness series with Bruce Campbell, the soup guy. Hey, Cheryl and Scott. That's uh, Cheryl and Scott from Indiana. She stays near my my sister. Mm-hmm. I think her and did you ever see the um, uh, Taco My Friend? There's a little girl with boots on. No, no. I don't think. Oh, there's another one. I think two. Which which two did you guys go to? Because there was a Taco My Friend, and there was another one that they had a uh, uh, challenge in, in Indiana. We're in Tennessee right now, Ray. But I think Shaun of the Dead and those Ash movies are like funny zombie oh. movies. Christmas Story, yeah. Christmas story. That's the uh shoot your eye out when mashed potato hands free mashed potato that came to that one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I got them on the video on that one or not. Yes, it is, Ray. But he slowed down now because he hurt his back trying to be He Man. So he's not moving as fast as he normally does. That one key you gave me. Is both doors or the one the outside? I Just the that. storm. Okay. That's tomorrow. Maybe we go over there. If you... Yeah. She punched me in my back earlier, too. We was, we, oh, we made, let's, we made some fajitas. Well, we was making some fajitas. We didn't make no fajitas. We didn't have skirt steak. Fajita meat, ain't it? We made burritos. Well, burritos, but is a fajita the burrito the package or is it what's inside? In the fajita, I don't know. I made a burrito. Well, it was a burrito. It looked hers looked like it was from um, Chipotle. I think I got a picture. But uh, we cooked. She cooked the rice. Uh, we got the skirt steaks. Season that up. Mm-hmm. There we go. Got some tomatoes, tomatoes, lettuce, uh, cheese, sour cream. It was 
pretty delicious. I like that starter. Is the starter sauce or starter taco uh, starters I sauce? Have or some kind of taco starters. It's the red pack. It's pretty good. It, it costs a couple of dollars and not the 79 cents or whatever the regular one is. It's really good, though. It's like a paste. No, Craig. I'm from Memphis. He's from my mama. Crazyville. <laughs> From um, Cahokia, Illinois, well, New Madrid, Missouri, and then I, I moved in third grade to Cahokia, Illinois. It's East St. Louis, Illinois, around the other side, on the Illinois side of St. Louis, Missouri, from where the arch is at. Oh, Cheryl, you won't see me at Graceland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cheryl, she's I've lived she's here most anti. of my life, and I've never There's been There's people that fly from China to go see Elvis. To Maybe go see, Brandon to go. To go see it. We can do a vlog there. Who is we? We. See, she doesn't even want to go see the guy. We would play video games. Why we don't play Star Wars? Because it cheats. Don't play video games with Brandon. No, we play fight, no, the Street <laughs> Fighter. We play Street Fighter in, in that. Mortal Kombat or and whatever. If I had a kept beating you, that would have been the same result. You're a lie. You're a lie. We, we're like, we're We're tied. I but I like I like playing the shooting games like uh like the Resident Eagle Star Eagle Wars stuff. Was a shooting game. Well, no, I'm talking about just like the Walking Dead type stuff. The Star Wars is cheating. <laughs> Star Wars, you get shot one time, you're dead. Note to self: If he says the game is cheating, that means he's gonna throw the controller. You can shoot somebody third. No, I, I toss it in the bed, and her leg was up under the cover. And she thinks I'm throwing it this place. I said, no, here you go. I give you that. You tossed said, it really hard. No, I did. I said, whoop. It went down very hard because it was on your leg that just got, like, almost fixed. I have a PS4. Lee, I didn't because he lied. Yeah, she did punch me back earlier. It was like that much higher than where my back was really hurting, so it wasn't that bad. She just went like that. It wasn't bad. Was my biggest food challenge loss? I lost two of them, but I went back and finished them. Um, so I'm not counting those. Yeah. Well, the one, the first one was a, a spaghetti one in St. Louis called Mama Capices. It's called Mama's on the Hill now. It had one meatball and it said like four pounds of pasta. But at the time when I first started my first like two or three challenges I've ever done, um, it said four pounds pasta and meatballs. So I can do that. Well, that's four pounds uncooked. Well, I divided it into three, ate the meatball, and I had one plate left. So I took it home and weighed it. That one plate, I think, was two and a half or three pounds. So I was definitely not able to eat that. So uh went back about six months later. Um, and completed that, but I don't have the win or the loss on camera. The owner I met in um, uh, Lake of the Ozarks at Old Kinderhook, where my, my cousin works. Um, he, uh, he was at fifth. It was fifth of July. It was the day after Fourth of July, um, and we did a hot dog contest there with the kids. And he said, "Hey, why don't you come check do my challenge? You know, in St. Louis." I said, "What is it?" He goes, "Oh, my oh, mama's on the hill." I said, "Done it." He goes, "Oh, we added a meatball." I said, "No, I done it." But I don't have it on camera, so he's going to let me come back and do it so I can put it on and get it on camera. So I'm going to do that one. The other one I have, the win and the loss, called Johnny G's. Um, I got the – it's in uh, Tom's River, New Jersey. If you go into my homepage on YouTube and search Tom – well, search Johnny G's, uh, it'll pop – both of them will pop up, the, the loss and the redemption. Indian Palace is good. I haven't been there in years, though. And I love their mango lassi. Uh, Indian Palace is a, a it's a uh, Indian food place in Midtown. Mm, be nice to go to, huh? Yeah, they got a buffet. Mm. Lee, is there a reason you never play video games? And I need to I need to look into um, this Resident Evil Three remake. Because I think I got all the Resident Evils, I think. But that was my favorite game. Uh, 
Uh, oh, we've been doing, we've been fishing. Been fishing. We've been fishing. Um, fishing and going to Walmart to um, get stuff. What was that? I don't know. It was a glitch. Oh, Matrix. <laughs> Something happened. Hey, I don't know what that was. Mm. Make the screen big again, or you don't normally have it. Oh, I never knew it. There you go. Hey Tuna, how you doing, man? We are uh, we are enjoying um, just whatever we're doing. Um, um, I had asked in the other one about hobbies and stuff. If people's doing any hobbies, like stuff they picked up on again or starting a new hobby, but I don't think we've been doing just fishing and nothing much. Just watching Walking Dead, I guess. Yeah, only just new. fishing, Walking Dead, and Walmart. And That's the Cooking yeah. more in, I'm cooking more. Yeah, I've been cooking more since. Yeah. I found out she knows how to cook. You have found out a lot. Favorite, my favorite meal, Nicola, is a crab boil. I love crab legs. Favorite dessert? Mm -hmm. I don't really know. Maybe cheesecake or something. Yeah, I like my vanilla shake stuff, but. I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite dessert. I don't think I ever played Doom. Doom's old, old. We got a um, yeah. She would like a crawfish bowl. Yeah, I like crawfish too. Yeah, if there's crawfish on the buffet, so I, well, I think one time I got her a whole plate of it anyway when I saw it because I knew she was going to get it. Tuna milkshake, okay. I had that peach milkshake from that Shake Shack. It was really good. I yeah. said, I might try the nutter butter in it next time. Say, hey, put that nutter butter in there. Peach, nutter butter. That, nut that I mean, peach was good. Yeah, I, like that. I like the peach one. Lee, Lee's keep pushing for that milkman mask. Lee, I'm going to send milkman over there with you. Ray, I think it's just made her patience get better, maybe. What did Ray say? <laughs> oh, yeah. Quarantine has tested my patience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, protect uh, the milkman mask is safe. Didn't get any bullets for the nine millimeter uh, anymore. We have, we have a, a, a nice just amount to keep a couple walkers off. Uh, I got some more 45 shells and I had to get some, some hollow points uh, because that's the last ones they have of those. So I got uh, regular uh, shells and some hollow points. Hope do fit. Nobody ever said that it wasn't serious. Thanks. Uh, feel me once. What's not serious. Somebody asked, would you take the COVID-19 seriously or continue to dangerously downplay its se severity? I don't know. It's a bad, bad cold is all. I guess some people's immune system's not good, so you might have to eat fries off the floor a little bit here and there, and it builds your uh, immune system up. I think that's why my immune system's so good, because I'm like a mutt. Because mutts can eat off the trash and not die because they're used to it, but dogs at the house eat one little thing at the garbage and they die. So build your immune system up, get some vitamin D and some C and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, we we've been um we've been not going to people's houses and stuff. I mean, I've yeah, been taking I mean, it more serious than what you think. Uh, but what I do in the woods in a bear costume is kind of not even my bit. I was gonna say my business, but it's your business because <laughs> you're watching it. But if I'm in the woods with a bear outfit, I don't think nobody's gonna even come six feet towards me. Uh, so I'm still doing stuff. I go in the storage unit where there's nobody around the storage unit. Walmart, we go to Walmart, uh, but I don't uh, try to hang around, like do my usual talking to people like, hey, guess what I got? I got a YouTube channel. Here's my card. So I, I kind of uh, don't do that as much. 
I don't think Sardis is closed because I think Sardis is one of the uh, is one of the reservoirs. So I don't think it's closed. Who do I blame for the virus spreading this much? I blame carelessness. That's who I blame. Yeah, because you know what? People don't even wash their hands coming out yeah, the bathroom. I've seen plenty of people. That's why I, but even before this virus stuff started, I don't like shaking people's hands because I've been in the bathroom too many times. For instance, it was one time I was at work. I used to work at this other place. And a lady was in the bathroom. She came out of the bathroom stall and got a paper towel to open the door to go out of the bathroom. Never washed her hands. So that didn't make sense to me. And then later on in the week, she came up to me and she was like, hey, you're the one that rides the motorcycle outside. And she stuck her hand out to shake my hand and my brain started going like had to do the mathematical For symbols sure. and stuff. And <laughs> I just looked at her and I was like, I don't shake people's hands. Cause what are these? I'm like, you elbow. little, you little nasty. The elbow. <laughs> but yeah. And then it was, it used to be a lady that worked. She would always cough and never cover her mouth. And everybody in the area would be sick all the time. So to everybody, I, mean, I don't like people like, just sneezing and not Show them how to do it. That's what you're supposed to do now. What? Bam. Give the elbow. Yeah, don't shake hands. Don't even not, fist bump. Sneezing and turning your head away from people is not covering your mouth. People do that too. Coughing. I it's mean. Supposed to be like into your, into your like a, a armpit type deal. Yeah. But I, I think just carelessness, carelessness. People don't, don't wash their hands and. And yeah, do but, all that but, like they're But if you're in the to. store, people don't wash your hands in the bathroom, and then you're touching thick and chunky show salsa in the taco aisle, you're touching them in the bathroom. So all you're seeing, if you want to picture private parts on the on the shelf, that's all it is. So everything you touch, instead of touching your face, you need to wipe your hands when you need to leave the store and not have the gloves on in your car. You know, you're in your car with the gloves on with all the funk in your car now. So, uh, but people don't wash your hands. So why stock up on Germex now? Like, oh, let me get this Germex. Get to you might have started it. Yeah, I think we got a boat. So Corona, if you want to put anchors down now, we can we can sleep in a boat <laughs> if we have to. Put it put a net. I heard over it, it was some billionaires like those yachts, like we were yeah. seeing in uh, Florida. Yeah, they're thinking they just took their boats out and just yeah. Stayed what away. if it's a big ass? storm well maybe they didn't get that up. deep but they've just been on their yachts chilling that's just taking it to the extreme it's the same thing as you talking about getting on the boat i was just joking though <laughs> but in a lake like hey but if it gets that bad i don't know if you can get there but get to a lake and just pop your anchor but put a net over the whole thing like a net you want a hoodie well you better get one while they're got because summertime i'm not stocking up on hoodies um, you can look at my descriptions and it shows you everything to do. The Venmo, PayPal, Venmo and Cash App is the ideal. If you do those, email me your address and let me know to check my PayPal, I mean my Cash App or Venmo, and then I can send them. Or you can do Cash App, or you can do, I mean, you can do, you do Cash App Venmo, then send me an email saying that you sent it there, then I'll see that. Um, or do PayPal or eBay, uh, or send it to my P.O. Box. It's all in descriptions, though. Yeah, right. I don't know. I guess people weren't washing their hands before this because they just telling you to do stuff that you're supposed to be doing anyway. Um, I'm doing my, my selling my merch, merchandise uh, about as usual. Um, it's not. I don't. I don't sell a lot of merchandise, uh, so it's just not. Uh, I know I didn't say that right, but I'm gonna keep talking like I did. But it's uh, it's about the same. It might have been a little less, but it's nothing. I, I mean, I see in the times we're not working, you're at home a lot. You got to worry about tics. other stuff. So I'm not. We did package them in different packaging. So it's uh, we got it in the storage unit. Um, all uh, with the uh, orders over deals, and then we got the um, what is that moisture absorbers. Uh, then we put them in double packaging into containers, so they're really really good and 
and safe in there. But I'm not going to order any more uh, hoodies until uh, probably until fall time again. But I do have them in all sizes uh, until they run out. Hey, thanks, Hits and Chicks. You got a question you want to? Huh? You got a question that you might want to answer? I know we're doing, we're like answering different questions here and there. So if you got a question for me, I mean, uh, you can, I guess, just do it regular. If you got a question for Tasha, maybe put her name up first and then a the question. That's what some people's doing. That's oh, I just mean me. Oh. My last pizza video, did you pick cheese or did the owner pick it for you? Which which place was that? Uh, what's the last pizza? It had to be a throwback. I don't know what the last pizza one I did. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see if his his phone's still in his pocket. No, it's not. Okay, I got to read this one. Brandon is responsible for downplaying. I'm responsible for downplaying and spreading the virus. He just said it was nothing more than a comment. Hold on. You might want to rewind that. I've never said it's a common cold. I believe I, believe I said it was... Uh, It was like a bad cold, but a common cold. If you wanna, if you wanna uh, try to go in on me about it, please get it right first. Let me see. I don't do much to keep fit, but but uh, what I do is just uh, not eat. I starve like two or three days sometimes. Like now, I don't starve because I'm kind of bored. But I I, I eat. I guess kind of normal. I don't eat like a lot all the time, so I, I kind of eat normal. I had two two uh, burritos today and a nutter butter, nutty buddy, nutty butter, nutty Those butter. Those are nutty buddies. The nutty buddies. Nutter butters are the other one. Do you guys have? To yeah, we have toilet paper, but we don't. We didn't hoard any. Yeah, we always stocked up. On um, stuff like that, anyway. So when people were walking around saying that they were out, we wasn't worried about it because <clears throat> we don't use it until it gets to the last. Yes, especially I, since I used to do like couponing and and stuff like that. So I already had a lot of that stuff. I do want to say this to False Cast. Is that, is that your name? Let me get it right because I know you don't get your stuff right. False cast. I do want to say, if you get my hoodies, you are less likely to get Corona. I do want to say that, and I you want you want to save this and tell people, if you get my hoodies or T-shirts, you are less likely to get Corona. And you know why I'm saying this? Because you're not going to Walmart. You're just you're buying it online, and it's shipped to you, and you don't have to leave the house. So that is a true statement. So please, if you want to less likely get Corona. When you're buying clothes, just buy a hoodie or shirt from me. You're welcome. And I know false. If you're really adamant about this, this coronavirus, you would buy one. And I'm waiting on your money now. See, I'm waiting. But if if you don't, if you want to go to Walmart and buy a shirt, you are responsible for spreading the virus. With that said, touche. Okay. Next. I'm the type of person, I, I I try to keep it real as I can on here. So if people are a-hole, I, I like to be a a-hole back. I do like to be an a-hole back once they are. But if you're nice, I like to be nice back. So that's how that works. Ben, what kind of piece are we eating today? Yeah, Ben, I saw it. I saw something. I don't know if Molly posted or something. They said in Italy, the plants are uh, thriving on pizzas, like the pizza was popping out of the plant, like a plant pizza. <laughs> I forgot how it went. Pepperoni and extra cheese. 
Uh, do you think it's okay to go out and cut your grass with stuff happening? Yeah. yeah if you're just cutting not? your grass. Uh, but if you go pay for gas at the pump, you probably want to um, do the Germex right after that. Or I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this, but if you don't have any and you really think that po pump has Corona, maybe put a little grass drop on your hand. Would gas kill it? You'll burn your little hand. Well, off. I'm saying I wouldn't do that. And if I was you, I wouldn't do that. But if, if it's come down to life or death and a gas drop would save you, I would, I would, I would. I'm just saying that's what I would do. Why can't you do yard work? If you stand away from people and just doing your yard. well if, if you guys are like really like strongly disbelieve something here try to keep the, the cussing down I, I try to keep the cursing down for people that do watch um that do view the um channel that's probably a younger crowd so um if you do get timed out for that um i apologize in advance but that, I think that's the only reason why people the, the, the moderators time you out because of the strong, strong language. Be weary of cats. I heard they can. <laughs> I think you brought this up before, and I think somebody said it can hide in the in the hair or somebody can. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I just just don't own cats. That's that's that's, that's basically what I would do. Do not go to my mom's house. Uh, that's what I said. Just stay away from there. She has plenty. Switching jobs with Brandon. Um, no, because then I wouldn't have a job to go back to if he had to do my job. <laughs> you guys might stick around if I mess up a couple of his videos, but I'm not sure my job would be too keen on messing up. You don't think I could stuff. do your job? I mean, I could just jump in and do it, but if I was trained, I bet you I could... Blah, blah, blah. I believe they you fire could. five people from your, your place. Like, hey, he could do all them jobs. Paul, I know about that. I know how about why they call them, why do they call them cargoes on a ship and then shipments on a truck? They should call them cargoes on a truck or a truck goes. I know yeah. fire a firefighter. Or what is that fire engine and it carries water? It's a water engine. Fire. It's okay, Michael. They just try to keep it PG. I'm just trying to read the comments. I'm not sure why that was timed out. No, I think it did all the I don't know. Oh. Yeah, some of these are getting timed out for. No, that was the one when you was like, oh, the cussing down. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you grew up me, you probably curse a lot. Oh, my back, my neck, and my head's gone. Let's just talk like this from now on. I'm glad I got on shorts. Oh, well, I'm glad I do too. <laughs> Working from home, you don't got to wear clothes. You want me to sit back so you can sit back? Since you, since you heard, I can scoot the table forward. Yeah, we can do that. Be better. Why don't you? Your back is already. Stopped. I'm not even. I'm just making that sound. Move. We're good now. We are good. Let's just let's, let's enlarge this. That's what she said. Hey, hey, Tasha. Can we do that? Yeah, that's better. Sure. Where you at? Better yet, why were prices so high in the first place? Of gas? Or why are gas prices so low? I'm not sure what Ray asked first. I'm trying to scroll up or what I was saying, maybe. I don't know what he's talking about last. But I know gas prices are low because if people if people said this a long time ago, if people would not I drive around in circles. Into that oh. When they said, why are they so low? He said, oh. why were they high in the first yeah. place? Well, 
they're high because people use gas and drive around the same block 20 times to say hi to everybody. The more you use gas, the higher the price is going to go up. Like now, when people are using less gas, gas goes down. So if you guys cut other short trips out of stuff that you don't even do, gas will go down. It just... Lee, I was hoping you had clothes on because you just said you went fishing. I was going to say that. That was the real reason you got kicked off that dock. <laughs> well, that's how you get space. Social distancing. That's how you go to jail. <laughs> naked and afraid. You got your own video, Naked and Afraid. Eating pork steaks, naked and afraid. <laughs> Hey, Katie. Um, how long has Katie been in here? I've been trying to read comments and I skipped over. I think Katie just got here. Hey, Katie. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Hey, Katie. How you doing? Thanks for you guys for tuning in to help out. I really do appreciate it. Sarah's in here. How long? Has... Sarah, you've been in here a while? Sarah, been in here. Oh, well, hey, Sarah. Sorry about that. I've been trying to read comments and then that one person that had to get hidden that doesn't know they're hidden, except maybe they do now. They just want to start crap, start crappy, crappy. Hello from Wisconsin. I went to Wisconsin Dales. That's, Wisconsin Dales is like uh, Branson. They have the big and somewhere else. Was it Gatlinburg? What about Gatlinburg? They have the big, the big stuff like the funny houses, like the big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have like different. It's like the, the 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 McCoys, McCalls, and McCoys. They have a buffet there. I've never been there. I wish we should go there if we can do if they let us do a video. But it's uh we should go there anyway. But it's a big like you know the the cartoon, the statue. They thought one of them stole them. The two country, the two two like hillbilly. Oh, the two families. Yeah, they were McCoy and McCalls. Okay. Well, they got a restaurant there. Okay. Then they got the White House upside down, like the whole. That's it. No, yeah, no, no. Got, that you is, might watch my video. That's the Ripley. If <laughs> stop talking to me, talk you, to them. If if you look, if you look at the video, guys, if you check out the video of it's a burrito place. It's a burrito place in um uh Gatlinburg. Uh Randy Santel was there and then the Hatfields and McCoys. Yeah. And recently, it was uh, Bob that did a video there, Notorious B dot O dot B dot. But it was a, a loco, El Loco. I like it, Lee. It's a great gas saver, even though it's a truck. Well, SUV. I call SUVs trucks. But it is great on gas. I went into the store to try to put twenty five dollars on it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't um it wouldn't hold it. So she said. great gas mileage, good little gas saver. It's called Loco Burro. Loco Burro. Uh and I put I, I put putting it up now. But he has said Randy, B dot O dot B dot said Randy had the record. Mm -hmm. Uh but but I do now. Let me see. I'm trying, I think I think on this video is the one. Oh, messing up, folks. Yep, this is one. See it? Yeah. She sees it, and if you guys want to see it, here is the video of uh, it's it's kind of like Wisconsin Dales, and I do have uh, something of Wisconsin Dales on there actually too. That uh, I can't think of which which video th that I did. There it was a pizza place. <laughs> I find that the, the pizza one in Wisconsin Dales. <sighs> well, can you read? Oh, here, here's the what video. Here's the video of Gatlinburg. I'm trying to get them that Wisconsin Dales. Video. Pub. Something pub. 
What are you going to get? I'm trying to show the video. If they can search for it. Well, it's like 800 videos. It's pretty. Well, you always say it's as easy as typing that in in your name. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know the name of the place. It was when I went to uh, Wisconsin. It was uh, Stephanie Wu when she was doing um, challenges. It still smells like smoke. Hey, Natasha Shank. Natasha Shank, not skanks in the house. Huh. I thought it was pretty close up there to the first videos. Since you said that they in it, can't you type your name and her name and it'll come up? I'm not sure. I thought it'd be easy to look it up real quick right here. Somebody, 1981 said, was it in La Crosse, Wisconsin? Are they talking to you? No, it was in, De like, near Dell, Wisconsin Dells. It was, uh, I remember it because we did, I did a lot of different uh, stuff up that direction. Six said, what did you eat in that video? It was a pizza. I think it was something pub. It was Wisconsin Dales. See you later, DC Irish. Be safe. Because I, I can usually tell on these where I where I was. Florida, Florida, Tennessee. Oh, no, Tennessee. I don't know. You reading comments or is anybody asking questions? What's my dream car? What's your dream car? I don't know. When I was younger, it was like a Lamborghini Diablo. But I really don't have a dream car Do right I now. Have a dream car? I don't. I don't think I have a dream car. I like Jeeps. Yeah, I was gonna say something to the Jeep. But I wouldn't necessarily say that that's my dream car. No. No. Natasha said it was a bar near the Dells. I remember that because I was supposed to go but couldn't because there was a snowstorm. Huh. I must have forgot to put some down here or was it really, really, really early on? Yes, five. Oh, here, here's some. Pizza Pub. Pizza Pub, Wisconsin Dales. And a fun fact, I think I've done 305, approximately 305 challenges. I slowed down last year. You sure you haven't done more than that? Because when the last time you wrote one down? I've been writing them down. Oh. It's not even on here. Cheesy's Pizza Pub? No. Maybe I called it something else. Yeah, I remember it because I did it and I said I, was, I, I had the record. And then um, the next uh, week... Uh, the next week, uh, Molly had went there and beat it, and I had to redo it because my video didn't even come out yet, so I had to redo it. There's Stephanie Wu there, but that's another one. Maybe it was before I got my name. I'm not sure. Well, I can't show you that one, guys. Sorry. All that trouble for nothing. Um, I don't even see the pizza pub and I thought it was in, I'm, I'm pretty sure it has to be in there because I had, um, Hey, Alessandro. Yeah. I had actually had to redo it because Molly had the record after I did it. She got the record. So I redone, um, 
I redone the whole video. I redone the video so I could take that that I had the record out. She said to leave it in. I said no, I don't have it. So Nicola, we are in the living room. Normally he's sitting in a computer room doing the video, but he sat in here so I could sit with him. Tell you that's Molly's. Oh, okay. Let me put Big Kahuna down. But there's another Big Kahuna I had too. The uh, in um, Oklahoma. Look at there. You didn't post it. That had to be posted. Any more questions? No. Happened two years ago. How did mine not get posted? I don't know. But we can figure it out later. Okay. I guess we can, huh? Yeah. Okay. I tried, guys. I tried. When's the fishing videos coming out? Fishing videos, I think the, the boat, the first boat was a 120, 120. So another six videos. Um, and I got like two, two or three. So about two weeks. Um, I have about two or three vlogs come out a week. Um, since the Corona, I had to space them out like that because I was up every day trying to keep, trying to keep, keep them um, daily vlogs. And it was really getting hectic. So I'm putting two, two, two challenge videos, at least two vlogs, and and trying to do two lives. So I'm trying to still do like six, six videos a week. I missed out Friday, and I apologize, guys. I, I switched it for Saturday, and then Saturday got kind of hectic, so um, I screwed that up too. It's it's really hard for me because I don't have my own place to have my own schedule type thing. It's just it's really weird that. Uh, like I got to know where I'm at to make sure I've got all the connections and, and, and everything. How's the croc collection rebuild going? Um, actually it's stopped pretty much for now, but crocs and you guys had helped me out um, right after the fire. So I have a whole box of crocs in the storage unit, AKA bunker. Um, so I have it out there. Um, I guess I didn't get to wear them Jodeci boots. The Josie Crocs. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even get to wear them. The mother Crocs, they were like uh, the duck boots. Yeah, the duck duck. She calls them duck boots. I call them Josie because that's the band Josie wore boots. No, like they that. didn't. Kinda. I no, call, well, it wasn't kinda. I call they didn't Josie. wear them at all. They didn't. Is no. that K Town? <laughs> they didn't wear those kind of boots. No, none of them wore those. Who the duck heck wore them? I don't know who. Somebody did. Them. Nobody. And I, and I, and I remember them boots. kicking their feet like when they're dancing. That was not duck boots. Those was like uh, Gore-Tex looking boots. They was big boots with fur on them, kind of. Jodeci boots. That's what they're called. I don't no, care. they're not. They are called that. You a lie. You call, them, you call them whatever you want on your channel. Yes, the clock, the croc bling is safe. We got two locks on them. <laughs> Daryl said, sit there. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Daryl, uh, I think Daryl caught more fish than me. He sent that picture. What picture? The salmon. Oh, the, in 13th, the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> I think Daryl caught more fish than me. Her friend Daryl sent her a picture while he was fishing, talking about, look what he caught. He caught a good deal on some salmon. Does he mind if you um if he, if he's famous now? I ask him first. Okay. Because he's watching a live. Um, I do have, I do have a video going to come out of some food.
we was cleaning out her house. Um, and I don't know, there's a story, like, uh, uh, people, there's a story behind this whole thing. But uh, I know as soon as, uh, soon as Tasha had, had uh, stalked me or met me uh, we, at the Tony, <laughs> Tony's Trophy Room. Yeah, you better laugh. About a month, about two weeks, three weeks later, it was Grandma's Cookies. That's when that kind of two days before, I think two days before the Grandma's Cookies uh, event happened, uh, her grandmother had passed. And uh, she was taking her grandmother in, in her house. And once she passed, she 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 pretty much boarded the house kind of up and didn't didn't live there. So now we're we're kind of in the middle of trying to clean the house out. Um, well, she um, and that's where we're probably going to move to right now. But until we find like an auction house, and then we'll probably end up uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to keep the house. Do. We're going to keep the, her house over there. May we, try to get an auction house. May just try to flat out maybe buy just a try house to, or whatever. But Whatever nice house comes yeah. up. So we don't really know none of that. But I was trying to build up to where we got this stuff from. Um, we got some, uh, we're going to, we're cleaned out some of the house. So I do got some um, items here. Uh, Vienna sausages. This old Coca-Cola, I'm not sure how old this one is. But she did let me, let me get this one, even though what the date... <sighs> The, oh yeah oh 2018 so she let me do this one but the rest of these she wouldn't let me do past the year these are all 2019s so uh these are 2019 so we're we have some uh, chicken noodle we have some turnip greens we got some peanut butter peanut butter never goes bad i don't care what it says on it peanut butter uh two things of peanut butter One's creamy peanut butter and the other one's creamy, so that's oh, good. Yeah, anomaly. It was big kahuna, I think. Yeah, big kahuna. Did you find it? No, the anomaly was asking. Just two years ago. So there's some Vienna sausages. We got some sliced sliced peaches. Alessandro said, "Why do you flex your neck side to side sometimes while eating? Does this oh, help you to eat faster?" No, because my neck hurts. But this uh, this this is what I'll have for a for a video soon. No, my neck's always uh, hurting, so I just I do it to stretch. No, Elaine, I don't have contact lenses on right now. I don't have a problem seeing, like, I'm probably, like, three feet away from the computer. I can still read, like, the stuff. I can see, but it's just, like, driving further down the road, like, stuff is blurry. So I'm nearsighted. That's why she drives so fast so she can see what's in front of her. So it comes up better quicker. No, I don't have contact. I don't have anything <laughs> on right now. I can see without my glasses. It's just like at night sometimes, like when it's getting darker outside and far away. That's what I have glasses for. Hey, did Six and Army find it? I don't know. Let me put it up here and see. Because I don't know what the heck the name of that title was. Yep, that's it. Oh, the Lost Temple. Guys, that was the first video that I was get you have to watch that video. Let me see. Whatever if you guys click on that later and, and, and save it, this is a, a video for the record book. This is the first first video I've ever did like a, a movie production on. I was so happy. My my friend um Ethan Teske. And some others I had said and Wayne Alhino. I said, wait till such and such date when it comes out. It's like a movie production. It's like the first editing that I've ever done, like a movie. So uh if you want to check out the first bad acting, that that's it almost. I mean, like the longer version. I did a couple little short bad acting, but that was like the first video. Big Zach agrees with you. He said all the stuff. Is good as long as it is sealed and the cans are not puffy. Thank you. Thank you. We just threw a lot of food away. It's still in there. I still said you ain't going to eat it. How about that? Well, she let me eat the year old stuff. No, Gary Parsons. Food does not run out fast at the house because he does not eat like you think he does all the time. No, but but thank you. I want to say thank you for Six Anomaly again. I really appreciate you doing the research on that, but I call it the Lost temple i should have called it freaking i need to go back and re rename that oh there i said i could show the picture okay 
Well, here's her friend Daryl that uh, we was fishing, and what he uh, <clears throat> let me see. There you go ahead, and he has sent this picture. Oh, oh there's no ring with that. No. There you go. See the fish? He has salmon. Yeah, that's the fish Daryl caught. Yeah, he said he caught the fish. So he actually caught more fish than me that day, I believe. Got to reword this other one so I find it easier next time. So now it's going to be called Pizza Pub Big Kahuna Johnson Bill. So it's, it's got all those different words in there that we could find it. <clears throat> is Scooby Doo on TV where we at? I think it still comes on like one of the Cartoon Network shows or something. Just reruns. Are you getting a John boat or fishing off the bank? We are. Um, we have a John boat now. It's like a fourteen footer. I think so. I think it's a fourteen footer. Um, but we are probably looking not this year, but maybe we was talking about doing some kind of. Um, uh, project in the wintertime where we get a bigger boat and maybe we get deals on stuff since it's wintertime and start rigging it up with the, with the fish finders and maybe we need a fish catcher on there as well just to help catch fish. Well, she's, she's a fish catcher. But uh, put the bolt, the, the, the pole holders and, and rig it up uh, with the anchors and everything just to get it going for next year and have a bigger boat with a, ni a nicer size engine on it. But I'm trying to do the house thing now. So we already got a boat. So let's not get too crazy and get another boat. Uh, I want to, uh, I want to worry about um, doing the house now and then maybe the winter time, then go ahead and mess with the boat. Somebody told me to take you fishing on the Wolf river. They from Memphis too. Oh, okay. That's one of the parts where I've been, when we've been driving and seeing on the side of the expressway where it's like flooded. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the Wolf River. Well, it goes from out there by where Jazz used to There's say. There's a lot of sticks in there if it's flooded. Like a lot of. I don't know. And then where we was doing that cleanup at one of the things, that was off of, uh, remember I did that for my job? That was off the Wolf River. <laughs> His name should have named him Scrappy. That would have been a cute name for a little dog. Scrappy Doo. Yeah, somebody uh 1981 said they named their dog Scooby Doo, but he wasn't big but small, so he should have named him Scrappy. 610, is that an area code? MB. Hey MB, how you doing? Space hey, Space. Yep. Uh Space Ghost was one of my good ones. I like the Captain Caveman. I used to like Jabber Jaw and Jabber 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 Jabber. And Grape Ape and Captain K. Grape Man. Ape, yep. And what was the one where the buggy could talk? The buggy. The little, oh, the buggy. little. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's red. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> was it all with Herbert? What was that movie? Herbie? Did they Herbie. make a cartoon? That was the bug. Yeah, the so bug. Okay. The Jetsons, yep. Speed buggy? Speed buggy. Happy birthday to MB16's daughter. What's her? Is that your her name, daughter? No. <laughs> I always say I was when I, I I'm still used to it. I don't want to get too close to anybody's like when I talk about my personal stuff. So I used to say my daughter. I still say that every now and then with Tasha. I say, hey, my daughter. That was Doom Buggy. So Doom Buggy. You said it was Doom Buggy when I was talking about. Oh. Oh, and I used to watch the Littles. Did What's you that? ever watch and Munchie Cheese? It sounds familiar. Munchie Cheese was the little monkeys that lived in the tree. 
and the littles were, of course, the little people. I probably saw them on. Flintstones, yep. Elaine. You want to show uh, my feet? You want to show some Flintstones? No. Elaine, we've been um, buying groceries and cooking at home. Walmart has been pretty good. Well, the, the first couple of days... Of course, people went crazy and was yeah. like buying out the whole meat section. Meat so what? Pepper. So what? Walmart started doing here in some of the grocery stores is they started limited, limiting how much. Like you can only get is it two cut, one cut? It was two, now it's one. Oh well, you can get one cut of meat per person, so you can get a pack of chicken wings, pork steaks, pork chops. Yeah, as long as you get one of each, you can do that. Instead of just somebody coming in and buying every piece of the chicken or whatever. But they said Walmart said they were doing that because they wanted everybody to get a chance to um, be able to buy food. So they put limits on how much you can buy. Yeah. Uh, Inspector Gadget was a good one. I always say uh, when I see them fans from Europe, them funny shaped bands, I call them go-go gadget bands. Uh, but my, my, my wardrobe is usually like that. It's khakis. And uh, the garbage disposal shirt. In the past three, four days, I haven't wore it. I need to jump back on on it, especially advertising. I need to, but uh, I need a fishing the garbage disposal shirt. I got a white one in there. I don't wear early. You don't need to wear a white shirt fishing. No, just a shirt. I don't wear it any any time. Uh, but uh, Christina, yo, Pink where Panther, are you? Did they Pink not Panther. Doing it? Yeah, I used to watch. Oh, Magoo. Yeah, Mr. Magoo. Yeah. That's how you drive sometimes. So 610 was a birthday. Is her birthday? Well, it's your birthday or her birthday? Because you just said her birthday was a day. No, you asked what was 610. I remember that. I it was like, what was it? A, a area code. And they said, that's why they said my daughter's birthday. Oh, I thought it was her birthday today. Okay, my bad. I got you. Everybody's saying happy birthday. <laughs> well, happy birthday early. Thundercats. Thundercats. Oh! <laughs> Voltron. Ooh, Voltron and He Man. I watch Sh Strawberry Shortcake. I used to watch that. Yeah. And, and Rainbow Bright. And Rainbow Bright. Care Bears. Yeah. Oh, a fun fact. You be needing a Care Bear stir sometime. G.I. Joe and Care Bears. Um, the movies came out the same time at the movies. Well, my brother and my other two cousins, they, the guys, they went to go see G.I. Joe. I guess I was a little younger. I wanted to go see Care Bears with my, my, my sister and my cousin. So. We've been going to the local stores, too, like the family-owned stores. It's one right up up the way. Yep, Rainbow Bright. Uh, Punky Brewster, that wasn't a cartoon. but Yeah. Or the Nanu Nanu. Okay, let's uh, – enough shows, enough shows. Any questions about – Mr. Bean, oh, I like that funny uh, comedy. Started on HBO. Only 10 people at a time at Walmart in Jonesboro. 10 people? I know people. that takes forever. They've been letting, like, at, in our Walmarts, what they do is they've separated the entrance and the exit. With like, carts upside down. Yeah, and you have to walk in like through six the entrance, flags. but they want you to stay six feet apart. They let as many people in the store. I don't, I don't know if they're counting. I don't think they are, but no. they've been taking the baskets like how they used to and push pushing it in the little area, but they got somebody Spraying collecting them, them in there, sanitizing them. So they don't let you bring baskets in out from the parking lot. They want you to get the ones on the inside because they've sanitized it. But they don't limit how many people. They just ask that you, you know, keep your distance from people. I was waiting for them to tell us to stop walking together like they don't know we're together. Hey. Six feet. Pink. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait, <laughs> so, I go, so I can go be a little bulldog. <clears throat> yeah, and they closed. They only got <clears throat> one entrance. Like, normally it has an entrance in the food section and in the, what is it, the home or whatever section. Yeah. Only the food side is open on most of them. But, yeah. And just cut down the people that have to stand there, I guess, because it doesn't make any sense, really. Yeah. Except that.
But I just don't see the 10 gathering at one time. Like 10 ga- just don't gather. I mean, don't you don't supposed to hey, let's have a barbecue and have 10 people over. Don't come over. You're like, let's barbecue, let's do a virtual barbecue. You barbecue at your house. You know, that's what we've been doing. TMZ, they've been not coming to work, they've been doing it from home. <clears throat> A yep. friend of mine posted like it was his wife's birthday. So what people did was, you know, everybody from different houses, they just had their little signs or whatever. And they drove down their street and with yeah. balloons and all that, wishing her a happy birthday instead of having a gathering. He posted pictures of that. That's pretty nice. Like a one guy that talks to his grandfather outside the window on the phone. Yeah. Oh, um, oh yeah, plastic. I, I went by USPS to deliver a shirt one day, and they had thin plastic. You couldn't even get no thinner than that plastic. Mm-hmm. And sitting up, and then it had a hole there to put stuff items in. That was not going to do nothing. That's it was waving back and forth. The end, the bottom wasn't even shut down because if the bottom was taped down, you couldn't get a box in there. So mm-hmm. I had to pull it up to put a box in there. Like that didn't make sense to me. Have you ever done the slug burger? Contest in Corinth, Mississippi. No, that's uh, MLE. I think oh. that's. I think that's Major League Eaters. That's the first one that Big Eater Mike, the guy with the one arm, um, Big Eater Mike from Mississippi. He that's the first contest for MLE. I think he's done. Uh, and I've never done that one. I've never even ate a slug burger. I ate the slaw burger, which wasn't even slaw. It was relish. And people saying that's the wrong. That's not even a real slaw burger. But that's the godfather of slaw burgers was in Fayetteville, Tennessee, or somewhere. I think, I think that was it. Uh, Christina, I like the new car, especially with it being as big as it is and being a gas saver. Because I used to have a Corolla, and I would say the gas mileage... Corolla, is, not Corona. A Toyota Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> but it's about the same as far as gas, but a bigger vehicle. But I like it. Uh, where are you? We are in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. No, he was he was responding to you. Just read Junior Jones. That's what you, where you said. Where are you? Yeah. But he was responding to Brandon Howard saying oh, that no okay. kids are allowed in the stores. Only one person or something like that. Oh, because people are using kids for mules. They're uh, they're like, hey, come yeah, on, you're gonna get, get one ten kids this. to Some get ten balloons. Are probably using their yeah. kids to get extra. That's what they're doing. That was pretty smart food. of people to do. Yeah. But what if you got thirty kids at home and one person has one kid? Does it show them a portfolio? You just have to go to the store every show them day. Portfolio. Hey, look at little Timmy. Need the turkey. <laughs> ben said Toyota actually has a model called Corona. It was in the sixties or seventies. Oh, yeah? I just thought it was always Corolla. <laughs> yeah, Ronald, I don't think it's going to end it for America. It might end it with, for the people that are have low, low, low immune systems. Um, I'm not sure, but now people are aware of it. So, that, like, my friend had died because he had... Uh, um, I used to go to the Chinese buffet all the time, and I just saw him two days early, or three days earlier. Wasn't feeling well. Oh, yeah, walking we pneumonia. Saw him in, the, in the grocery store? No, no, oh. not him. He got shot. Oh. Yeah, that was a different kind of cold. But uh, yeah, well, yeah, it was a street thing. But the um, yeah, he had walking pneumonia. He didn't go to the doctor. He didn't go to the doctor, and he died. But people now that that's like that, they oh, think they got a little cold. They're not doing it now. They're aware of, hey, I might have corona, so they go get help. Yeah, my car gets 39 miles to the gallon when I'm coming, when I'm going to St. Louis. It gets 37 miles to the gallon, approximately 36 coming to uh, Memphis. Christina said, or the other way around. they're supposed to wear a mask and the fine is $1,000 for people in gatherings. Yeah, well, people, they do have to scare people. people. They, I mean, they can give you, since they said it, they can give you a ticket. But what it is, is there's so many people doing it. 
It's like if they see one person and they have the law and they see one person, two person doing it, they see 30,000 people not doing it. It's like, I can't do it. We can't do this. So uh, I think they're doing that to scare people and say $500 fine if you get caught outside not going to Walmart or, or work. Uh, so it's like, hey, that did deter some people to, to help out. But I think they have Lysol and all that stuff here. Yeah, or you can use pine salt and dilute the water and stuff like that. There's a lot of 80 cents pine salt. No, they were saying that no Lysol is available in New oh, York. It's oh. a very hot commodity. Yeah, and well, Lysol is here. Said, yeah, we have Lysol and stuff it's got, no, Well, it's kind of like the certain ones they don't have. Cause yeah. it's all, every time they put it on shelf, they get it. And people that might work for them might, you know, be having it in the back room and saving it for, you know, like went to Walmart and the one was like, hey, I want that meat right there. Mm -hmm. So people are actually shopping. At Walmart that worked there, it's on the clock. So, hey, I want that meat right there because when I get off, it's going to be gone. <laughs> Christina said, Can y'all send me some? Fabuloso, the purple cleaner. <laughs> Six says, Time to start selling Lysol on eBay. Don't be like them people on uh, that was doing that on eBay with the toilet tissue and they, <laughs> they arrested them. Yeah. Um, Fabuloso, that's the, 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 the how you clean your house without even cleaning. You put it in a pot on your stove and heat it up. What? You ever heard of that? I, I missed the first part. The Fabuloso, you how you clean your it? house out without cleaning it. It smells clean. You put Fabuloso oh, in up. a pot and heat it up. <laughs> so it just. And it smells. Woo, so it smells it good. Smells. It smells clean. Jason said, this house is clean. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like eating with the eyes. You, you look, you, you know, like your house is clean because you smell it with your nose first. It smells, it smells like poop when you walk in. You're like, this house is dirty. You probably don't think that, right? You're like, ooh, <laughs> somebody just pooped. But the house is clean. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That doesn't work like that. You don't say, ooh, smells like somebody just... Eight. <laughs> she never heard that. The shrimp, the vein on the back of the shrimp, uh, that's what we say in East St. Louis area when it's really big, the vein's really big. Like, Ooh, this one just eat. This one just had Thanksgiving dinner. I never got a tooth pull for a cavity. I just like fought the pain until the the the, the, the ending died. Like a week hurts. Because you was too cheap to go get it. I don't got it. I don't have any medical. I don't have nothing. So I got to be walking. I can't cut myself or nothing. Look at that. Look at that. Because somebody had rigged up my bobber. Ooh, so wait. I didn't catch no fish. He blamed everybody. Except Did it happen? Put, you blame everybody except for yourself. Don't put it above your face. Okay. Think of that. It's lumped up. Somebody had one of their angry spells. Because somebody rigged my bobber up. And decided to use a knife. We just watched the Star Wars. To okay? cut, <laughs> to cut <laughs> Star Wars out game. of a bait caster because he was upset. She put the ball on the other end and went through the hole. I was like. Yeah, that was really screwed good it all up. to get mad and, and do that. I had to go to the dentist to get my teeth clean and stuff because I had the program, the program of the schooling. The people that did the schooling did it, mm -hmm. so I got, I got a really good discount, eighty dollars per quadrant or something. So I went in and they cleaned it and everything. So I, I, that's how that that happened. But a lot of dentists, well, at least here, it's not expensive to do stuff without insurance. Oh, okay. Try to get me in there. Christina, he'll still find a way to do something. Nicola is so mean. Not rude, but she's mean. Look at her, read her comment. She thought it was so funny when I cut my cut myself on my mail. Remember that? In my brother's basement? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I was taking the mail from you. Yeah, it was sharp. Wow. Alumni said he had four wisdom teeth removed and they hadn't even grown in. They broke a bone in my mouth, cutting them out. That sounds painful. 
Depends who you ask, um, MB. That's what I say when people say that. I said, depends who you ask, because my neighbor on this side thought I was the worst person in the world. The neighbor on this side, maybe not the best person, but he thought I was pretty cool. What's Aaron's? Is that the rental place? Yeah, but why? Oh, somebody put Bill. Uh, Bill Fitch said Aaron's my butt. But if you're talking about Aaron's rental, um, I got a rental from Aaron's. I got a computer in there from Aaron's because if I lose it, if I don't use it, I lose it. So uh, it's like 19000 in in, in um, what they call that, living expenses after the fire. So the rental house, they're paying for, they're paying for the couch, the TV, the TV correct. stand. Uh, well, while I'm talking about it, I might as well finish. But the, uh, the, uh, the computer, um, and I got like a washer and dryer and a stove. Uh, through Aaron's and a rent -a center So people's like, don't rent from them. You're going to pay too much. Just buy it. Well, if I buy it, then I have to pay for it out of my pocket. Then I have to move it where I'm going. But now if I rent it, they pay for it and they can take it back. I don't have to U-Haul it nowhere. Indies in the house. Is that Indiana or is that India? I did something in Indi uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. I did a... Uh, that was a funny one too. Uh, Indianapolis mugs. Um, it's called Speedway in uh, Indiana. It's right by Indianapolis. It's a uh, uh, mugs and buns. It was funny because they said they. I said my wallet's in the car because I said how much is it? And they was like, my. I said my wallet's in my car. She was well. You might go get it. Uh, the man versus food guy couldn't even do this. I said whoa, um, but I did it. And while I ate the whole meal and. They're, they got a dining area. It looks like a house. It has actually was a house, a dining area. But the drive through like Sonic, was over here. Well, they cook all the food here and deliver it over to the, to the dining area. Well, they, they delivered my food for the challenge. And when they came back, the lady was on the phone and called the place and said, hey, he's done. And I was like 30 feet, 30 or 40 feet from the phone. And all I heard was on the other end. He goes, he's done. He goes, with what? And uh, he goes, she goes, she, he ate the whole thing. So they came back over. I thought that was really funny. You had to be there. Eads, where's E A D S at? Eads is Eads. like going towards. I think Eads is going like to pass Millington. Oh, okay, so it's in Tennessee. Yeah, it's in Tennessee. Ain't that where Christina at? Oh, welcome, Christina Johnson. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. I haven't seen her in a minute. So you know the root beer? Yeah, they didn't offer me a root beer, though. I, I would have took a, rib, a root beer float uh, if they had one there. Uh, Daniel. Oh, in between Oakland and Arlington. Okay, that's the like the way we go to Whacked Out Winters, like going towards Jackson. Up oh, 40. The way you go, like going the way to 40. Go to whacked out wieners. Going to Arlington, the place we went to Arlington, where we did the smash burger and all oh, okay. that. It's past there. People yeah, think past Lakeland. Okay. Lakeland was where we was trying to look for a house out too. So I can have chickens. But we were definitely, we were saying now, definitely want to get outskirts. a garden. We need a yard with the garden. Yeah. Not with the garden, but enough to Enough deliver. room for a garden. Because I'm doing mulch, like that much mulch on top of everything, so we don't have to weed that crap. Believe me. Yeah, I know it. Believe me, it's like it. yeah, because I, I didn't do it one year because I didn't have time. I will make time because <laughs> it will save you time, but not weeding yeah, it out. Yeah, I know mulching will I will, kill all the grass. I will freaking mulch the heck out of it. We can just go get a trailer full of mulch. More than I mean, believe me, I will. I will overdo it almost. It's fine I will. With me. Not let that happen again. But I do like um, weeding the garden, though. I really like I get out there. In Fayette or Tipton County. I don't want to get too far. I don't want to have to drive like an hour yeah. to my job. Like 30, 35 so, minutes kind of tops. Yeah, like 30, 30. 35. Yeah. Not maybe 45. 40, like five, what a, maybe 40. I don't know. But maybe after this maybe after this corona thing, there's be, I, hate, I don't yeah, want to say these words. Yeah, working at but, home. But I don't want to anyway. say it, but maybe this corona, the good that might come out of it is what people 
never thought about doing because it costs too much to start doing. But now they see that they saving money, but I don't want to be people out of jobs. But if it's easier for people to work from home than go into an office, it saves time by getting ready, getting on, then getting on that bus to go to your job. And so there might be some good that comes out of this because of how people had to arrange their, their but job. But I wonder when it comes, I think it'll still be cheaper because what if something like computer issues, then IT have to go to your house or I wonder how would they do that? I don't know. Like it'll be hard trying to troubleshoot yeah. computers all over the city or I don't know. I mean, it might be simpler too, just to have him. Simpler just to give us laptop, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'd figure that out because you like to troubleshoot anything over, you know, like yeah, they, they could they take a, the, like they could do that on on right now. They can go yeah. into the computer. They just let you. I'm still on their yeah. network. Well, they let you like here, like Dell, mm -hmm. like they, they'll trouble. They they fix my whole computer over the the thing, so they can probably do all that. Yeah, that's what I'm, I was yeah, trying to say, GC, remote. <laughs> yeah, GCS, they have remote access to my computer, I think. Thank you, the remote. Because you can you can offer, you can you have the remote service where you go into Dell and, and say, say, I agree, and let them control your computer. So, yeah, they can do anything uh, from where they're at. So I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of places might downgrade their, their lobby and say, hey, I don't need this big lobby. People can do uh, Grub, uh, Grubhub and Dine Dash or whatever. What's it called? DoorDash. DoorDash. Not not D and D. That's Dine and Dash. That means you're not paying for it. That's I'm not gonna go there. It happened over twelve years ago though. But uh but people that were against Grubhub and stuff that oh I'm not doing that. It's like they kind of have to do it now if they want to stay in business. So people that were reluctant to use it now use it. So it might go that direction where they might be need more workers for Grubhub. And DoorDash. DoorDash to me is that one thing. What? That one when you ring the doorbell and That's dashing. Ding dong ditch. Whoa! I thought you, don't say that too fast. <laughs> <laughs> but some people called it. Uh, I can't knocking. say the other. Yeah, yeah I can't knocking. say the other thing. Nigeria. Kind of, yeah. Nigeria knocking. knocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends where you're from. Maybe I don't know. Or Jimmy Rig or Nigeria Rig. Yeah. yeah, there's different ways. Because sometimes I've never heard of Jimmy Rig. I say, yes, what you say? What you say? <laughs> <laughs> Nicola just finishing her dinner. I take I take forever. Anyone else slower eater too? Um I people people saw a food review of Papa John's. They said, Why do you have to eat like that? This ain't a challenge. I said, I eat like that since I was young. Like if you've been a certain way almost your whole life, it's really hard to change the person you are. So I, I'm I'm like an efficient kind of guy. So I'm in a rush when she's like, I'm not rushing you. Like I want to get this done because that's I need to do it to get this done to get this done. Yeah, sports lady seventy six. I think the same thing, and that's why I'm gonna try to make sure I go over and beyond doing what I'm supposed to do to make sure if that does happen to where they decide. Hey, we don't need all y'all. Just gonna try to make sure my numbers are right, so I'll be one of the the chosen. Was that what I was talking about before? No, uh, she said. Sadly, I think a lot of companies no, may realize man, like you do your job good here. So when they do have to let people go that watches yeah. Netflix and stuff on the program, yeah, yeah, because they monitor all that. They monitor even closer. I think when they see all that, the, yeah. the analytics. I don't know why you would be stupid enough to stream stuff on the People, especially when we working from home streaming stuff on the the job's computer i mean if you at home just cut on another like your computer you got at home if you just gotta listen to it or watch it or watch have a tv going while you're working no don't do that she's not doing that no i'm just saying instead of just putting it on oh, the computer screen, that do that yeah oh, okay but just don't do it, okay? It's like most of us, like when we at work, they let us like listen to music and stuff while we're working. But whistle, they make let you whistle while you work. I'm done with you. Not the little John version. <laughs> then you will be dancing and push the seat while back. You twerk. Oh, and that wasn't little John. That was the Ying Yang. Twins. East Side Boys. That was the Ying Yang Twins. Oh, Ying Yangs. Okay, I knew that. Yeah, you did. Well, you know. 
<laughs> yeah, Joe said, what? Uh, for what food I don't like to eat? Pickled pig's feet is probably up there and stewed pig's feet. Uh, there's not really, I don't eat chitlins no more. Chitterlings. People say chitlins, but if you actually look at this, chitterlings. Yeah, I know what it says. Yeah, the only person that says it right is uh, Medea. Chitterlings. But uh, I used to eat those, but I stopped drinking, okay? So I stopped eating those. If you got to put that much hot stuff, hot sauce to hide the Duke smell, no, then it smells was, like Duke. No, it was clean. I'm telling you, it was still clean. No. But people, if you want to eat more chitterlings, chit, chitlins, if you want to eat more, what you do is clean them good. Clean them good. Open a can of cream corn. Dump a little bit of cream corn in there. Then they'll think they cleaned it. It looks like pieces of corn still in there. Like, ooh, you didn't Stop clean talking. this. Stop if talking. you want, go to go to a potluck, <laughs> go to potluck, and go ahead and put a little bit of cream corn in there. Believe me, you will have a lot of chitterlings. But I know people put potatoes in there to suck up the toxins. Guess what? One year I was eating all the potatoes out of there. They're like, "What are you doing?" I was drunk, like eating the potatoes. No, that's something. Wherever you was at, they weren't cooking them right. No, I had them before different different levels of poopiness. Mm -mm. You like, I got to let them sit and soak and all that and do it like five different times. But some people are just like, oh, it's in a bucket. It's good to go. It's good to go. Yes. No. Extra hot sauce. No. <laughs> I like when she says that. No. Peanuts. I don't know if, if you really have a peanut diet in pigs, though. But I guess you could put corn and peanuts in there. But corn, definitely. Maybe a little bit of turnip greens. A little, just a little bit. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, children smell like Corona. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I, I said that. New saying. Smells like Corona in here. That's what you do. That means it's bad. Smells like Corona. Smell like that COVID. Smell like smell like uh uh Vatarot. <laughs> hey, when I was in Texas, I used to mess with people. They know what Vatarot is. Vatarot is a college in St. Louis, and I think it's other places too now. But I say, hey man, you got that Vatarot. Like I ain't got that Vatarot. Like it was like an AIDS or something. Like man, you look like you got Vatarot. Like, I ain't got that vet. And I'll say it back. Like, I ain't got vet rot. <laughs> I wonder if Jay is really going to come over here to work so she can stay up. Can she do that with, with, with the AT&T 25 MPS at the top? It's like 20. She going to have to, one of us going to have to be on Wi-Fi and one going to have to be on the thing. No, you got one more plug in there. Oh, okay. But then well, I'm sitting in to... here. I got to work, too. You're going to be asleep when we working. You, I've been up to 2 or 3 in the morning doing my... That's what I usually do so I can do my videos Like if you're working so I have some time so I don't do it hey, while, you, Matt. while you're here. I can do my Wi-Fi. But I actually, if she wants to do... If she wants to use that in there, I can go in the room and edit. It's just a little harder for me to edit in the bed, but I have the Ethernet cord in there, too. No, we're just going to sit her desk right next to mine. Just well, block I it off. Move, you can, can walk from this stuff. way. You can put one going yeah, straight across. Yeah, just going straight across. You just come through yeah. the other doorway. Look at that. We got FedEx over here. Yeah, that's why I told her. We got who at FedEx at the house. Oh, my daughter works for FedEx, too. That's what we were talking about. And she was against working from home because she feel like she would be too comfortable and would be sleepy. So I told her, she, since we work the same shift, she could come over here and set up her computer and... Um, I would keep her up. Hey, Matt. Matt's going to be a little little bit longer on that truck since uh, the state ain't doing any registrations or lost titles right now. They, uh, they said we bought the boat, but we're safe because we got the bill of sale. Uh, but you should... Yeah, I don't know how that works with vehicles. My, my computer is not printing on that printer anymore. I tried everything on both computers. I've tried it all. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I never printed it. But I was going to try to print on my Amazon, on my Walmart buy so I can give it to Bob Manville man whatever. I mean if you just need to if you want to pull it up and I got 
a scanner and fax on my phone. You do too. I got it on my phone. Then I have you download Genius Genius Scan. Uh-huh. And fax. Okay, you can fax it to them. Oh, so I can just from your phone. So I can fax it without even. Or I can do it because well, I, I, already... I got a screenshot of all my stuff on there, don't I? You can. I'll show you that later. Okay. Hardwire it to the printer. I've done that. I told you, I, like, I'm not, I'm pretty on computers. I'm pretty much, I know how to, to, to do some stuff. Um, oh, and I want to tell you, uh, Matt, Matt uh, here, Matt Pate. I met him. I don't know if he came to the Cookie Canucks, but I know the first time uh, was at Saki's. He came to Saki's, and then we saw him again at the uh, Hideaway Grill, but he works for Meineke, and that's South Haven, Mississippi, right? I call it South. Is it Meineke? Huh? It's Meineke? Yeah. Oh. But it's called, I think it's South, South Haven. Haven. Yeah, I call it South Haven because there's not, it's South, South Haven or South Haven, but technically it's called South Haven, uh, but we met him there, and um he uh, he's a really great guy, so I really appreciate him from uh, for coming out. Oh, he in Horn Lake. Horn Lake, Horn Lake, Meineke. So, yeah. Well, do they got a Meineke? They got a Meineke in South Haven, probably. Uh-huh. But but disregard that because he's he's in Horn Lake. That's about by the Red Lobster we was at. So, yep, Horn Lake, Mississippi. And that's where we go to Walmart at too, around there, don't you? Yeah. Yes, Elaine. I've eaten alligator before. I think Brandon has too. Yep, alligator. It's pretty good. It's all right. I mean, it's nothing. I, I, I just don't buy all that stuff that's extra. I mean, chicken is cheaper. It's less gamey, I guess. Alligator is not gamey. Depends where you get it, I guess. I think all this stuff depends on who is yeah. curing it. Because yeah. I've had the the first time I had deer, I said I'd never. I would rather really have a little more gaming, but not too gaming, no. like too crazy. No. I like that. The first time I had deer, it was so gamey. I was like, if deer tastes like this, I don't ever want to eat it again. And it took somebody that had one and somebody cured it right to get all that game taste out of it. But one time my cousin, he got some deer from somebody and they were supposedly had done it right. He made some spaghetti, but he didn't tell us what kind of meat was in it. And when I tasted it, I was like, this is not beef. This is not. (laughs) I was like, this is something wild because whoever did it, then it was that same taste from the first time when I did it. And when I told him, I was like, it's deer in this spaghetti. And you can't tell me it's not because somebody didn't do it right. Did you try Mike's? Like Mike, though? The, uh, I haven't had anything from Mike. Okay, I had some in the freezer. The steaks that got froze, like burnt. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I was going to I was going to ask uh, Matt here about Meineke. Uh I saw other shops open too. So Meineke Meineke is still open during this. I guess if you if you have to work an uh, essential job, you have to keep your cars maintained. So I was going to ask Matt, are they still open regular hours? Are they got cutback hours? Are they getting deals going on? Black market meat? Yeah, deer chili is good you too, can't sell but deer. it all depends on whoever's curing the meat because some people don't know how to get that game, that wild game taste out of it. I like elk. Elk burger, like elk meat. I've never had elk or bison. Ariana, my daughter Ariana, she um, she remembers from like five years old. She remembers like eating that. that she like she really likes it. Ben said the shops there are open. Shops open. All right, Bo- uh, one legged Honda mechanics open. Open like a something on nickel night. Ben, I need to send my Honda to you. <laughs> Just drive it up there and leave it. We added beef fat to the ground deer. Yeah, some people add pork. I have to make sure, like, if I get one and get it processed to let them know not to. uh, I know some people um, add pork fat. 
So I have to specifically tell them to use beef fat if they're gonna if they're gonna do it. What you doing? I'm putting uh, tortillas and tacos, tortillas and tacos on my list to get. That 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 section is gone from Walmart too. Tortillas tortilla, and tacos. Yeah. I guess because that's an easy, that's a simple meal to make that'll feed a lot of people. Put anything like in tacos taco. and yeah, like a stuff in a burrito. Yeah. I gotta do the voiceover tonight on that. You gonna take a nap before work, like usual? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that, like, dude, I may I because I gotta stay up all night. I was gonna do voiceovers. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna borrow that trailer. We really don't need it right now, so I'm gonna delete it. Hey, ma'am. <laughs> you said bacon, I would eat off an engine. <laughs> yeah, Amber, I agree. It makes a big difference in how you process. <laughs> I guess Matt went back to work. I was asked, I asked him if there was uh, different hours. I remember he said thanks. Yeah. But maybe oh. he's not on. The yeah. Thing. Maybe I had to go back to work. But he said his boss was here, so he had work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, ben says, I don't approve of the FDA. How about that? How about that? Cats me outside. How about that? Tongue tacos? No, but I've had a cow tongue before. My granddad used to fix cow tongue uh, when I was younger. When I he lived in Gary, Indiana, and that was the first time. It just tastes like roast beef. Cow tongue is very big too. A cow tongue is huge. Why are you looking like that? I just, that's all I see. Oh, that's all I, that's, if, you, if you talk about, oop, talk about cow tongue, that's all I picture is a dang Kirby, Kirby tongue. Thanks, Keela. Yeah, cow tongue tastes like roast beef. Most beef of grass. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Uh, we've been on here two hours. Look at you. It's almost, I think it's almost a record. I don't know how long it's the longest live that I had, two and a half hours or something like that. I don't know about eating pickled meats. I don't think I've ever had pickled meats. Oh, I want to tell you a story when I had the, the, oh, the no, the vegetable stand when I did the pickles and they said, whatever that juice is using the pickles, I'll, I'll do whatever. Because what else do you pickle? Like, I don't care. I'll pickle pork chops. She goes, do that. Like she said it quick as hell. I did it, but it's so expensive. Like $11 worth to go in that little, you know, worth of just meat to go in there. I tried it. It was not that great. Oh. It was pickled. It was pickled, but it was just didn't taste great. Bison is delicious. As you pickled Vienna sausages, you never know. See that face? She knocks all my ideas. Somebody needs to be here. Pickled, to bring I'm doing pickled <laughs> Vienna sausages. Well, you, you, can, you can put like six of those cans in one, and then I'll see how much. I'm like, bam! Well, pickled eggs. Okay. Pickled eggs, garlic, and sweet. I've never heat. had pickled eggs. They're out there. I know. I like pickled okra and pickled green beans. Pickled eggs. Maybe you should try one. Uh, I only got a couple jars left, but if you want to try one, I wouldn't mind. Cow's brain. I've never had that from cow's brain taco. Yeah, both peanuts, they ain't nothing to talk about to me. I've tried them before. Some old timers like that, though. My 
my high school coach used to put um, peanuts in the bottom of his cokes. Yeah, that Pepsi's. people put it in beers as well. Not really. Yeah. Pickle beets. I did pickle beets for that that one uh, Mel lady, that, that yeah, rain Rico. lady, rain 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 postal service, the rain lady. At the post, she did put she did pickle, but she liked pickle beets, so I did pickle beets before, and she really liked them. <laughs> Tony said, "All the hood on the hood is big, because I have a big old head plus dreads." My head fits I in them. Braids and they fit in it. Yeah, my head fits in them. Yes, I've had rabbit. Rabbit is amazing. Smothered rabbit and gravy. Rabbits and squirrels and gravy is good. I've rice. never had squirrels. Y'all should show it like brain. I don't eat stuff like that. But the the mom. I have texture problems. Brain with gravy. Sometimes I can't even eat lettuce. Like if I'm eating, like when we made the burritos today, I didn't put a lot of lettuce in mine because sometimes I'll be eating something and then my brain will just be like that texture doesn't go. I'm like that sometimes with meats. I'm just I'm a picky eater. Pickled, pickled onions. onions. Yes, I've pickled those before. Yeah. That, yeah. The, um, you can do the pearl onions are a lot better doing the little the round ones instead of cutting them up. Mm -hmm. But squirrel brain would be kind of a small nugget there. A lot of squirrels get a good meal. I like cooking oxtails too. Yeah, I don't. I don't eat the bread. I just do it to taste it a little bit. But I, I don't even think I ever tried to pork brains with gravy. My grandmother likes it a lot. Puts on eggs. It's, it's mushy. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of rubbery, mushy, kind of like mixture. I don't know. Have you like ever rubbery. had calamari? Yeah. Is it like that? Because I don't like. It's not. It's softer that's than that. That's rubbery to me. Oh. That's not, that's harder though. It depends how they cook it. They cook it too much, but calamari is good. I like calamari. I didn't like the texture of it when I had it. I went to a, a sushi place. Gizzards are delicious. I don't like gizzards. Oh, man. I don't like liver. I like gizzards liver smells with hot amazing. sauce and ranch. Liver smell. that's one of them foods where it smells amazing when you're cooking it. But I went back as an adult because I was like, well, maybe, you know, sometimes when you're a kid, you don't like stuff. But I don't care how anybody fixes liver. It smells just like any steak and gravy or whatever, but when you eat it, yeah, it's a weird disgusting. taste, like a deep it's taste. It's disgusting. Kinda. But I, I like it, but I like gizzards. Our our, our uh, KFC uh, did liver, liver and gizzards on Tuesdays, like sell them by the pints. So they are really delicious. I, I like gizzards. If you know how to cook them, I can cook them. I can actually can cook them like cotton candy. Like they don't, I don't do the Coca Cola either. They just say uh, soak it in Coca Cola or whatever. The way I do it, um, I boil it. I got, I had it rolled down, but I got to Google uh, and see which one I, but I know I boiled it for like a couple hours. Uh, and then you want to take it out, put it in the, in, in a bowl and use about a cup of that water, pour it on there. Um, and it, uh, it absorbs that again. And then you fry it after that. After you take it out, uh, you, get, you pat it down, you fry it like cotton candy. I'm not lying. I did it the first time. It tastes so good. I, I cooked it more the next day. Rico, I've had it fried with liver and onions, and it's disgusting. But I um, I told her a story about my gizzards. I woke up one day, and, and I, oh, I was really drunk that night, but I used to go to the Arabian uh, the liquor store, and they sold gizzards. I don't know about the high quality, what kind of meats they used uh, of anything, but, but they... Uh, the last of the batch is always hard as a rock. So they almost, they pretty much give it to me. Like, here you go. Like the last, so I'm at the liquor store until it closes, but I got the rest of them. Well, I went home and ate it. The next day I woke up, my jaws were hurting so bad. I thought I got in a fight and I got beat up. But I looked, <laughs> I looked down and I saw the plate of gizzards down there. So yes, that's how hard they were, but I ate them all. But I, mine were so tender, like cotton candy. It was it? I, it amazed me. It really freaking amazed me. So I cooked some more the exact next day. It, it turned out the same. So it was like cotton candy. So I boiled it for two hours. 
um, you want to um, look at a recipe, a recipe, just Google boiling liver for two hours. I mean, boiling gizzards for two hours, something like that. And you probably find it. And then you put it in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes to let it soak up the other juice or something. I don't know why I did that, but it, I, I kept doing it because it worked out. I went to Evelyn and Olive once, I think, in, in on Madison. Yeah, that food was pretty good. I went there. It's been maybe two years ago. I think me, Melinda, and Daryl, and uh, our other friend Rob went. Cued pork. I don't eat pork. Amber Brandon does. She said, have you ever had cubed pork? It looks like cubed steak. It's amazing. I probably did. I'm not even sure. The uh, Dr. Pepper. And I never heard Dr. Pe Pepper with chili. Her peanut butter. I tried peanut butter. I tried. Co actually, chili? I like coffee. I like putting coffee in there, like a cup of coffee. It really, it, it's like a different depth of flavor. Uh, but I tried, uh, people put fudge in there as well. So they got different, they got a lot, I guess they do Dr. Pepper. They do a lot of different stuff. The best jerk chicken I ever had was in Jamaica at, um, it's a place, out at, like after you leave the airport, it's a place that um, that they take the tourists to. Um, what is the name? Um, is it Shake? What is it? I don't know, Nicola. Everybody, they got, they're already tired. It's two hours and 15 minutes. You're the only one hanging in there. <clears throat> Ben's here. He's working on the car, probably. He's probably up on her car fixing transmission. Never heard of grape jelly and chili. I said that mm -hmm. instead of sugar. I don't even put sugar in chili. But people that put sugar in their chili just can't cook good, so that's why the kids eat it. That's how I say <laughs> rice, rice and spaghetti and macaroni. If you got to put sugar in all your food that means you can't cook good you got to get the kids to eat it somehow all right katie's still here she's working so okay get back to work get back to work cut cut sarah's still here all right all right well nicola was wondering she saw, she saw she was the only blue blue popping up Is it scorchies? I'm still trying to find that place. My sister did. Three more hours working on his ribs. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Okay, guys. Uh, it's been it's been over two hours, two hours, 15 minutes. So I'm going to head off of here. Um, I got a couple things I got to do before I start editing. Um, but uh, I had a, a, a vlog come out today. I think 114 was the vlog. So that came out today. Uh, what is today? Tuesday? So I got a challenge video coming out tomorrow. I got to figure out what challenge video. I, I'll try to try to let you guys know now. Oh, yeah. The place I was talking about is called Scotchies. So if you ever go to Jamaica, go there and get the jerk chicken. It is amazing. Oh, we got an uh, eight-pound bucket of meat uh, coming out tomorrow. It was at... The, the old watering hole um, in Lowell, Indiana. Um, that is uh, uh, L-O-W-E-L-L, -L, Indiana, um, at Bub's Barbecue. Uh, it's a place called the the old watering hole, but inside of that place, they had Bub's Barbecue. Um, they're, they're, they're closed down now. It was about two years ago on my way to see my sister. 
Um, then they had that donut contest that you already saw. The donut contest just posted maybe a week or two ago, a week and a half ago. But eight pounds of meat in a, in a bucket, really difficult. The por pulled pork, you'll see that section there. I think I almost upchucked a few times. Pulled pork, all that saliva, trying to chew it like bubble gum. It doesn't want to go down. And people treat, try to drink too much fluid. But uh, that will be coming out tomorrow, like 10 a.m. Central Time. So, um, go ahead. No, I was Amber Marie. Uh, I don't have a definite direction. I mean, I like to fish, so it'll be some fishing. I like to cook, so it's going to be some cooking. But it'll probably be a mixture of fishing and cooking. And maybe if I start back going to the gym, um, that as well. And I also want to go and train so that I could be a licensed scuba diver so that I could do videos on that too. So basically just a channel of all the random stuff that I do. Like vlogs. Yeah, just basically vlogs of my randomness. Oh, and hopefully, I don't know, didn't you say we can go hunting with Mike? Yes. Fishy boy. <laughs> Cute name. Thanks, Paul. Wisconsin has free fishing and free state parks. Okay, guys. It's been almost two and a half hours, so uh let me get out of here i know you guys got stuff you got to do i know it's quarantine and some of you guys don't have nothing to do and don't want me to go but um i still have some editing i got to start doing i haven't edited in like four or five days so i took all that time off and i don't think i edited one time so um i'm, I'm, I'm catching up now where i'm catching up enough where i don't have to every single night do like a video or two since i'm not i'm not going to do a video every day of a vlog but every other day at least two to three vlogs a week. So two to three at least. Uh, so I really do appreciate you guys watching the vlogs. Um, and I always ask you, please share the vlogs. If you want to do anything to help out, really, to just share the vlogs. You got another question? Mm -hmm. mm, no. Okay. Well, well, people. Um. Well, if you if you ask the question, we can answer it. But you just said I have a question twice, so just post a question, and I'll be the last one. Okay. Well, I guess you don't want to ask a question. You're putting faces up. All right, I was ready to answer one, but um, I don't know what else to say. Other than that, um. I always said share the videos. Uh, please tune in tomorrow at 10 a.m. I got a, a, a video to come out. Uh, that's that Bub's Barbecue. Um, let me see. Are all the cell phone providers open over there? Pretty much. She has AT&T. I have Sprint. So... But I do appreciate you guys for tuning in and hope you guys stay safe. I know I joke a lot about Corona, but I do take, I mean, I take more precaution than I, than I would have. Uh, but I do joke a lot about it on here, but that's just a, a comedian, part of, comedian part about it to try to just um, ease people's minds, not to take it lightly. Like some people think, think that's what I'm doing. Uh, it's just uh I don't like to live in fear, so I, that's that's my whole thing of it. But, okay, guys, I appreciate it, and I will talk to you later. I appreciate Tasha for helping out, uh, making it look prettier on the screen. Um, so just looking at me and this teddy bear right here. But maybe we'll get a teddy bear video soon. I don't know. Nicola was asking, what's that teddy bear? Oh, it's, in, it's, it's in, just a bear that my oh. mom had. That's all. One of my mom's bears. Okay. All right, guys. We'll talk to you guys later. And um, I will uh, drink my coffee and do some editing. So.
talk to you guys in the future. Uh, if you want to comment on the video, if you have any other questions or whatever um, on this video, comment below and we will get to it um, throughout the day. So, ta-ta.